Hello again, watch friends. Welcome back. There's a brand that doesn't get too much uh, exposure, publicity, um, or even recognition from the general public, but I think it should. And that brand is Habring. Um, it's not well known. Um, it's a uh, husband and wife team, um, Richard and Maria Habring, uh, located in uh, Volkermarkt, Austria. So Austria is not a very common place for a watch company, but in this case, Hobring is located there. Um, and they, um, they started their, their watchmaking business back in 2004. Um, both Richard and Maria Hobring are accomplished uh, watchmakers, uh, husband and wife team, as I mentioned. Um, they started uh, uh, more than 10 years ago, and previously Richard Hobring uh, was, was working for and developed for IWC their uh, double chronograph uh, earlier in his career. And uh, that was based on the Valjoux 7750, uh, and it featured a um, Rotterpante module, uh, split seconds. And uh, basically, uh, Roger Ponte or split seconds uh, in a chronograph uh, is uh, when you start the watch, the chronograph begins, and then when you uh, actuate it again, uh, the first uh, seconds hand stops. That gives you your split second timing. The second hand keeps on going, uh, and then when you actuate it again, the first hand catches up with the second. So it's a very uh, difficult um, complication to do uh, and Richard had done that um, earlier in his career for IWC. Hobring um, and also the, the Hobring 2, the 2 comes from the fact that it's uh, Richard Maria uh, as a team. Um, they've won a number of awards um, and the awards that they've won are from the Grand Prix the Hollerage de Genève. Now, if you don't know, uh, the GPHG is the annual Watchmaker Grand Prix Awards. Every year uh, in Geneva, uh, uh, watch companies, watchmakers, uh, industry uh, uh, specialists all get together and they vote on uh, watches in different categories. Uh, and come up with awards for the best watches. So in 2012, um, Hobring got the uh, the award for the uh, Doppel II uh, split chronograph. In 2013, Hobring got the uh, best sport watch award. That's one of the categories um, for their jumping second pilot watch and a jumping second uh, if you think of a, um, a course watch where the second hand uh, moves from second to second to second and as you probably know in a mechanical watch um, there's more of a sweep and depending upon uh, the frequency of the internal movement uh, that sweep is either uh, fine or very fine or extremely fine so in doing a jumping second, sometimes called a dead second, it's a another very difficult complication to do where it's a mechanical watch but the second hand moves from second to second to second. So Hobring uh, won the, uh, the award in 2013 for the best sport watch with their jumping second pilot. And then in 2015 uh, Hobring won another Grand Prix award um, and this was for their Felix that's what we're looking at right now and what I'm going to do a brief review of uh, in this video um, in the category category called Le Petit Aguille now the Le, Pe Le Petit Aguille is a category for any watch uh, doesn't matter what type um, the other categories are men's watch, ladies watches, sport watches, things like that. But the uh, Le Petit Aguille can be any type of watch and it must sell for under 8,000 Swiss francs, which is roughly $8,000. Um, 
Uh, so in 2015, Hovering 2 uh, won, um, won the award uh, for the uh, Felix. The Hovering 2 Felix was developed in 2014. It's a manual wind uh, movement, uh, time only, no complications, 48-hour uh, uh, power reserve, 28, 8,000 beats per hour, 38 and a half uh, millimeter in diameter, 30 meter water resistant, and it's a very slim uh, seven millimeter thick sapphire crystal front and back. So as you can see, it's uh, it looks deceptively simple, but you can tell that it's really a very high quality watch. If you look at the side, you can see that it's very, very slim. As I mentioned, seven millimeters. And then the back, the movement is the hovering uh, A11B movement. Uh, A for made in Austri Austria. Uh, 11, because they started development in 2011 for the movement. B for basis, it's a basic movement. But as you can see, it's really, really nice. Not a lot of finishing, not a lot of extra superfluous uh, uh, details on it, but just a very, very high quality watch. And it's also almost entirely made in Austria. Hoppering has uh, partnered with both Swiss and German firms, uh, all family, small family businesses, to uh, to create the uh, the Hobbring Two Felix. Hobbring produces the escapement, the balance wheel, and the hairspring, and winding and adjustment uh, mechanisms. It's also very customizable, so you can get the Felix. Uh, in either a black or a silver white dial. Obviously, this is the silver white dial. You can get either a black or red 12 at the top. I chose the 12 for for my piece. I think it adds a little bit of pop to the uh, to the dial. And you can choose either Roman or Arabic numbers, um, or you can choose just uh, uh, indicators like I have. I don't normally do an unboxing uh, in videos, but I wanted to just show what you get with the Harboring 2 Felix. So it comes in this wooden box. That's not much to speak of. Little uh, owner's manual. But what's interesting is what's included in the, the box. And if we look inside, you can see that they include extra spring bars, they include an extra, uh, actually two gaskets, a crown, and on the right hand side here is a uh, is stem. So they feel like if this watch ever does need uh, any kind of service, uh, you, can, uh, you can have the parts that are needed to, uh, to do it. Hoppering makes um, about 150 of these per year, so it's not a high volume watch, uh, basically a handmade watch, um, and it's, I guess you would consider it a, uh, a bespoke watch because you can, um, you can decide exactly how you want it, customize it, uh, and have uh, the, the exact watch that you want. Uh, it retails for about $4,800. Uh, which is a uh, really good value, relatively, um, for the kind of movement that you get, a handmade movement, in-house movement, um, from a small, uh, high-quality um, watchmaker. Um, and there's the, um, the fact that it's rather unique. I mean, you're not going to see a lot of these on people's wrists as you're um, out and about doing your business. In the USA, it's available uh, from uh, uh, Martin Pulley. I'll have a link in the description on how to reach him and his company. 
so what do I like about the Hovering 2? Well, I like the fact that it's uh, in-house. Uh, it does fall within chronometer requirements. In fact, a few months ago I went to a, um, a uh, watch uh, event at a high-end luxury uh, jewelry store in Princeton, New Jersey. And this jewelry store sells, in addition to Rolex and uh, Jagger La Coltre, they also sell Patek Philippe and Cartier and uh, some other high-end brands. So at this event, there were their three watchmakers, and I was wearing this watch. I was wearing the Hovering 2 Felix, and I was talking to the watchmakers about it. They weren't familiar with Hovering. I told them the story, gave them a little background. Uh, they put it on two different time grapher machines uh, at the store, and the watch was almost perfect on both time graphers, both the, the Weechi high-end one and the, uh, the more regular time grapher model. So they were quite impressed, um, uh, and these are these are watchmakers in a, a high-end jewelry store. So it's uh, it's a in-house movement, beautiful watch, high-end, customizable, uh, very high quality. The quality, I mean, just again, just looking at the movement, the case. When I, when I wear this watch, I feel like I'm wearing something very, very special. Um, it's understated. So let me finish by saying that um, uh, this is a relatively good value. Sure, almost $5,000 is rather ex a lot of money for a watch. But comparatively speaking, you're getting a lot for your money here. And if I can... Uh, if I can quote Oscar Wilde here uh, in writing about, uh, he asked the question, what is a cynic? Uh, a cynic is a man who knows the price of everything and the value of nothing. So uh, there are a lot of watches that you can buy in the $5,000 price range, but there aren't a lot of watches that give you this level of value uh, for your money. So there you have it, the Hobbring 2 Felix uh, watch. I like it very much. It's a keeper in my collection, and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.